Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to render in Adobe After Effects and Sony Vegas. We will start off by creating a new composition for 720p. We want to be using a width of 1280 pixels and a height of 720 pixels. The frame rate will be 59.94 frames per second and the resolution must be on full. For 1080p, we want to be using a width of 1920 pixels and a height of 1080 pixels. The frame rate will be the same and the resolution also. And last but not least, 4K, we will be using twice the width of 1080p, so 3840 pixels and a height of 2160 pixels. Frame rate and resolution may be the same. Now we want to put our clip into the composition. This clip is a clip with a resolution of 4K and now we can do anything we like but I'm just going to leave it right here. So we will go to the render queue, the settings, match our composition settings so we don't really need to do anything here. Just make sure the quality is on best. Then we want to go on the output module and this is where it becomes tricky. Mostly for 4K videos, you have no other choice than choosing the AV format. So as it's a 4K clip we will use the AV format and it will obviously be uncompressed and therefore the file size will be immense. The output of the audio should be 32-bit um, and uncompressed. Then you want to hit OK, save it anywhere you would like to and click render. In the case of 720p or 1080p it's a little different. We will still be going to the render queue and match the composition settings. However, now choosing AV is not our only option. We may also use QuickTime for example. So when hitting on QuickTime you are given several options and usually the H264 is your best way to go. Now this is where it depends on how high you want your quality of your video to be. Usually I use the maximum of 100. These advanced settings and bitrate settings I wouldn't necessarily care about. The audio should be AAC and never uncompressed because once you put uncompressed it will not match the speed of your video so you will most likely get a messed up audio. So choose AAC, hit OK and yeah that's your way to go. Now obviously you can save it anywhere you want to and click render. So now we are in Sony Vegas. And in the case of a 4K AV data, this file is just as an example right here. So don't mind that. We will want to be using these settings, the same width and the same height just as in After Effects. And the pixel format, 32-bit floating point full range. Which aspect is really important to use the view transform off because if I choose any other option, just look what happens. There you see the color correction changes. We don't want that unless you do. So um, usually we use that as off. The full resolution rendering quality obviously best. Gaussian, motion blur type and the audio should be on 48,000 Hertz bit 16 and this really doesn't really matter. So click apply if you haven't already and OK. For the other two cases of 720p and 1080p we want to be going to the 
project video properties once again and now we can choose any other preset such as this one right here this is actually ideal for what we want to be doing so once again 59.9 for frame rate width of 1280 and height 720 for 1080p maybe there's even another preset yeah right here just adjust the frame rate to your needs the full range once again the same view transform off click apply audio is the, the same so apply and okay now we are almost done we need to head to the render so go to file and then click render as and the best settings to use for your render settings in sony vegas is the main concept a abc aac so click that and now you want to search for internet hd 1080p or 720p so i will go on 720p and now we have different cases once again for a 720p video then this is all right just as an after effects already for the frame rate it depends maybe it's 60 maybe it's 30 so you need to you need to change that accordingly then go to non progressive scan and the frame rate you want to go for 40 million maximum and 15 on average 50 million on average use cp only run rendering the audio that's all right just copy these into yours and project video rendering quality best so check once again and hit ok for 1080p you will head into this once again and click this for example that seems all right the frame rate uh, um, change it accordingly non-progressive scan maximum bit rate once again maybe put 50 million 25 million on average and do not enable two pass that will just increase your rendering time and i don't really think that's a difference in quality audio once again the same and project rendering settings best for 4k you can go onto one of these settings once again however this time you need to choose a custom frame size and use the settings out of your after effects project so with 3840 height 2160 um, do not allow source to adjust frame size as you've just put the custom frame size by yourself profile height frame rate once again either 30 or 59.94 non-progressive scan pixel aspect ratio 1 do not enable two pass once again and the maximum um, for 4k it could be a little bit higher as your file size will be huge anyways so you can go for 775 million for example average bit rate 50 million and um, now these are just um, for as an example you don't really need to copy them exactly however that's what i usually use render using cp only audio is still the same maybe for 4k you can go even higher however that doesn't really make a difference in general use best this is really important once again maybe you can even save it up here 4k best settings save click save override as i already have a tem uh, template called that okay okay use a path for example tutorial click enter do not use a loop 
region only if you do not want to do that if you want to render the entire video and click render